the hot scooter. No! <laughs> yeah, buddy! It's five in the morning. Come on, come on, come on. I need you, baby. Oh, I'm not much of an early morning person. So, on that note, I'm gonna let Phil take over and handle the introduction and tell you what we're doing today. Phil! Where are you, Phil? Hey, hey, Phil. What's up, man? You want to introduce everybody and say what's going on here today? Alrighty, guys. This is Phil with Salty Coffee Productions and the host of Florida Keys Fishing. We are going out after mahi today. We got Captain Tim Maloney over here, and he's going to be showing us uh, the how-to and hopefully putting us on him. And then we got Mr. Heiko Winkler from the South Florida Fishing Channel right here, bright and early. I was 20 minutes late per usual. Forgot my hat. I have another one, which doesn't look as cool. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna get on it, man. All right, let's get on it. I'm stoked. I made you do the introduction because I'm too tired. Oh, no, you're good, you're good, I'm good. <laughs> good at intros, good, good talker, talker type. <laughs> I'm Tim, born and raised in Key Largo. Left, did a career with a grocery store for 33 years. Public supermarkets. I love Publix. Yeah. They sponsor most <laughs> of my stuff sandwiches on the boat, so. Um, did 33 years, been retired from them for three years. Uh, fishing like crazy. I work at uh, Worldwide Sportsman also with with Bill. Uh, that's where we met and uh, love the fish. It's in my blood. Oh yeah. Big fan of this guy. Watched every one of his episodes, even when he went up the Vero Beach and left for. Oh no, that was a dark time <laughs> for the South Florida Fishing Channel. <laughs> well, looking forward to catch him up today. All right, let's get on the water. Let's rock and roll. The plan was to go fishing for dolphin. Well, that's not going to happen until later today, so when this wind calms down, we're going to run way offshore. But what I try to do is when I fish for dolphin or schoolies, I try to use just a regular J hook. Easier to unhook rather than a circle hook. When a dolphin feeds, he swallows it whole. You don't have to worry about hooking in the corner of the mouth because most of the time, so you want something with a longer shank. So when you get him in a boat and unhook him, it's easier to unhook him with the longer shank. It's just something that I prefer, okay? But since we're gonna be in here, we're gonna try to get a mutton while we're catching bait. 
So I want to switch back to a circle hook. I use a 60, 80 pound leader. And this is 80. Inshore I use 60. Looking for ballyhoo behind the boat. Still nothing. Just got here. They'll show up. That's a monster. Well, it's one way. Oh, you fishy. I got me a little baby. Oh, yeah, he did he did all the hard work. I know exactly. Quick release. I think I got a well, I can't that's so weird. It's gone. You know what? I I think I got a fish on. That's a good one. Yeah. On the ballyhoo, a full ballyhoo. <laughs> All right, which cooler? Fish in the box. Oh, I'm about to get hooked up, baby. I just know it. No, I think I'm into you. Oh, that is a nice one. I think it's me and it's into you. I, was, I had your line. You have my line? Yeah, really. Oh, that's... <laughs> I got all excited over here. I'm just causing all sorts of ruckus. Come on, Ballyhoo, where are you at? They were just there. A little yellow tail. One. <laughs> there is like four in front of it. I thought there was going to be at least two in there. Bait, bait, bait. We'll put him on the, we'll put him on the flat line. One mo, one mo. One at a time. Come on, Ballyhoo. Three, baby! <laughs> Slowly but surely. Two. Uh, nothing like some good old ballyhoo poop in the morning. Bright and early. Nutritious. I get a thrill out of catching bait. Yeah. Woo, is that a little mutton or a yellowtail? Went for, went for that belly hoop plug. Everything looks so small in these good guys. Man, he came right off. Right on cowboy. So rocking. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why we can't go offshore too far. <laughs> Well, I guess or we're drifting we? now. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's a good tidal rip right there. It's just slam up against each other. That's how you know you're on the ledge. I come through the nose, and then I break the beak off. Let him swim. So we're just gonna drift these guys? Drift them, I'll put a foot. I've got one flat line, I'm gonna let out a little bit more. See which way we start drifting. And this I... I got a pretty long leader, and I keep letting it out, letting it out. I let about 20, 25 feet out. I'm gonna take the line from here. This I like using like a seven, seven and a half foot rod. Same thing on like on a drift boat or anything like that. 
then I take, uh, depending on the current, we'll see how it we'll to see how that goes. Take a, this is an eight ounce. And I take the rubber band and I go through here like this. And you make the loops on each side. Get the line between the loops like that. Put the loops back together. And then I loop it around like this. And then tighten it down. Oh. Oh, pot. You didn't get that on there, did you? And deploy the weight. Down she goes. Gotta love the struggles of seaweed. So kind. So neat. Right at the top on our little live yeah. valley that was drifting. Go ahead, bye, man. Go ahead. It looked big. I saw it for a second, but I could not tell That's what it was. That's a cuda. That is a, a hoss cuda. Just keep swimming. Oh, he's behind the boat now. Oh, is that a big bonito? Or? I don't know. Let's cut your engine. I don't know what it is. It's a big one. If it is, that's a bonito. It's a big one. Yeah, a monster one. Yeah, big bonito. Big one. Big one! Let me see that line. Walk backwards. Holy smokes, that is a big one. We got bait the rest of the day. Huh. Man, that's a big one. Yes. Bad boy. A little torpedo. Alrighty, there we go. Now this is what is a beautiful, beautiful fish. That brrr, like a torpedo. Beautiful colors on it. Now this beautiful fish though, is going to be bait for the rest of the day. Slice this puppy up, try not to get any blood on my nice new shirt. And uh, to the ice box he goes, hefty. hefty. Beautiful colors though, I mean look at those. I love these fish. Just That's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Wonderful. Pretty boy. <laughs> Good work. Yeah. Oh, you know what? No. Oh, oh no. I don't want my oh, went what? the shark. Oh, what? Oh, it was a shark. Yeah. There was a shark. The Blair was my favorite. I love Blair. Uh... Snap. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that hit hard. That hit real hard. It's coming up now, so it could be a mutt. Maybe he's inflated finally. It's not fighting. Oh, oh no, oh no. I think shark? it's. it's I think it's a shark. Oh, are you serious? It came up so easy. Did it himself. He knows how to unhook. Back to what we were doing. You had a good, a good fight. Oh, you're on too. Uh, I don't know if I'm into you and it's bumping or. Uh, your line's going out that way. No, that's that's the top. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I'm just into you. No mercy! Please don't be a shark. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming up. Uh, he's fighting at the top, so he's probably not a mutton. Another shark. This must be a sharky spot. So it's 
rough. We're on the happy go pukey right now. And we're gonna try and see if we can get offshore for a little bit. Oh God. Um, oh man, I'm getting salt water all over my camera. I, know, I gotta cool. stop. All right, stay to tuned. We got a, about a 150 pound test backing with, um, I think it's a 100 pound braid. That'll take your finger off if you like. I thought I was seeing. Sh there he is! There he is! All right. Oh, the mine right here. We have a pitch rod? Yeah, the little swimming rod. There. This one. Oh, there you go. oh yeah, I'm on, baby. There's, there's more. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh man, that sucks. See, that's why I don't like those circle. Yeah, circle hooks are tough with my. Was there more? Yeah, there is a, there is one behind them. Oh, there's Mahi, there's a whole school. Oh my gosh! Whole school. Whole school. I got one! <laughs> I, I already caught a... It's a little peanut. I'm going to leave him in the water. Woo! Where's the big mama? Yeah, look at him. Wow, there's a lot of them. Okay, it's going to do its famous bleed all over the boat thing in a second here. Ugh. Jeez, okay. Yeah, I love the Jay Hook. He's not legal, is he? No. All right. Goodbye, buddy. He just felt big on that little bass ride. I know, right? Woo! Beauty. Beautiful fish. <laughs> little Beautiful. baby. On art officials, too. Always on fun. On artificial. On, your little on a little bass ride. <laughs> and he goes. Whoop. Oh, there's so many of them. Right on the weed patch. Uh, there's a couple keepers way back there. All right, time to get serious. In the zone. Oh, keeper over here. Want that keeper. I see him, he's in the front. <laughs> oh, the keeper's got mine. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <There you> go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, baby! Hey, he's actually pretty, pretty nice. No! No! <laughs> Get him back out there! Dang it! <laughs> it's all right. I know that was the. I should have. I don't know why I didn't try to grab him better. I should have grabbed him better than that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I'm back on. Back on. Yeah, he looks good. Uh, Where's that big boy? Woo! Oh, I got a tiny one. 
Oh, I can't believe that he, I. Man, that's, I already lost, I lost two keeper of mine. I feel bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to sight cast the big one. Yeehaw! <laughs> hey, you got blood on your new shirt. Oh, there's a keeper right there. I think. Woo! Woohoo! God, they're feisty. They're feisty creatures. You see a big one? Yeah. Oh, nice. He got off. You! Oh, oh, there goes your uh, lure. <laughs> Come on, where's Big Daddy? Where's Big Daddy? Oh, this guy's been um, this guy's been chomped on. So he's 18, 18. See any keepers in there? Oh, oh my God, monster! He's going. I got him. I just got a monster, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's the J hook. All right, let's gap this sucker. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's right here. Oh my gosh, I saw him come. I was like, right up. Where's the big boys? There he is. Oh, he's blue, man. Yes. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> and just like that. <laughs> what? Dude, stop! Good job, man. Holy smokes. He's off, he's off. Here, get something back out there. I'll take care of him. Go. Alright. Woo! He's a bully. Man, I, I think I got my boat detailed yesterday. <laughs> I saw him. I saw him swinging towards my bait, and I was just like, "Oh man! Oh man! It's gonna happen! It's gonna happen!" And that's a bull. See the square head? Not a round head. Round head's cow. Square head's bull. Nice fish. Oh yeah. Good job, Heiko. Come on, Woo! Heiko. Blap. Pretty. Nice fish. Beautiful.
Home sweet home. With the transporter. This is such a light rod. Wow. This must have been fun catching those little peanuts on that thing. I want to see you hook a bull on that rod. I, I want to. Just a big, like, like a 20 pounder or something. Just... I think we got to chase it. Hey, I... All right, when you clean it off, and some people don't like the membrane on it when you pull the skin back. I don't mind, so I skin it first. And then sometimes I use pliers, but there's a little tab here, you pull it back, I'll show you. So you go around, you make a complete outline of the fillet first. Come down here. Just break the skin. You come back this way. Hold tight, Let's pull it back. That's why sometimes it's better to use twice. This is gonna be, what is it? Catch, clean, and cook? What is it? <laughs> Catch and cook. Catch and cook? Catch and cook. Technically, catch, clean, cook. That is a beautiful piece go down, of meat. Right go down the other side of the background, just like. The important thing is keeping it iced. See how nice and firm that is? It's not mushy. When it gets mushy, that means it got too warm. You do the same thing on the other side. Oops. Ice. This has ice in it. Always keep the water chilled. Yeah. You soak your fillets. Cold salt water. Use warm water that starts the cooking process actually. Again, the bone strip out. And this right here makes excellent mangrove snapper bait. That strip right there is awesome for mangroves. You want to test it, Heiko? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got the right rod for it. Yeah, right. Oops, I'm pretty good. You guys can split the fish. I got two bags that often still in the freezer. Again, make sure the water is cold. Cold salt water. I oh, just sucked it down. I oh, sucked it real quick. This would be cool, like, to get in here with a mask and oh, a... Yeah, just...
shark's going to love that. Oh, yeah. You can have all, I don't want to. I smell like fish. Ooh. I think we all smell like it's a fish. Fruity, Right now, I'm gonna go to shipwrecks. Captain Tim's gonna be there, and Phil's gonna be there, and Phil is actually playing live music at uh, shipwrecks. So we'll check them out, enjoy the rest of the day, and then we're gonna be cooking that mahi tomorrow. Oh.
All right, the moment we have all been waiting for, especially me, because I'm hungry. There's a lot of juices coming out of this, I think because of the, it was a really fat slice of fish and all of the mango salsa. So take a look at that. Some people prefer it without cheese, but I love, I love fish and cheese, so. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Okay, let's finish this outro so I can finish eating and make a few more of those. There's something about a mahi sandwich that is so good. I got a tingle on my tongue. I think the combination of this Balls Cajun seasoning and this Everglades heat, woo, nice heaty tingle. Highly recommend that. That heat tingle plus the mango salsa Wherever you are right now in the world, just know that you should add to your bucket list, go to the Florida Keys, catch a mahi, and make a mango salsa with black and mahi sandwich, and you will not regret it. That is a Heiko promise. A South Florida fishing channel promise. I had a great time offshore out there with Tim and Phil. It looks like the Mahi are back in action and it is time to get our Mahi game on, baby. On Instagram and other Facebook, I've been seeing people catching a ton of Mahi down here, so it really does seem like they have finally moved in. About freaking time. So, tight lines, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe. And stay tuned because every Tuesday between 2 and 7 p.m. you can expect a fishing video from me. And I'm going to be trying to upload at least two fishing videos a week now. So cheers guys and thank you for watching. Oh.